weed when I was like 17, and they, apparently they look at that record way back, so I, I'm saying it now, you know, and there's 50 other senators, so if you, well, nobody really pays that much attention to you, you know, so, and uh, I'm, I'm taking questions from the audience, if anybody has a question, anything bother them at all, it doesn't need to be politics, it could be how do you rid of herpes, or how do I fix my, my carburetor, or my holly, whatever, Corky goes deep, I can tell you the meaning of life, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I gotta watch that sign there. This sign cost me sixty-four dollars at Office Depot. It's kind of a rip up. Sixty-four dollars I paid for that sign. Isn't that ridiculous? Sixty-four dollars I paid for that, but it's kind of double-sided, laminated. So I guess if it rains out, it's not going to be washed away. But uh, uh, I basically like if y'all have a question, come on, just throw them at me because I like taking I like taking questions and see where this goes. So just uh, you know, tell us about your daddy. About what's that? About my my daddy. Yeah. Oh man, Corky Senior. Well, we're from uh, we're from Mayo, Florida. Y'all heard of Mayo? Mayo, Mayo, Florida. M A Y, like mayonnaise. Mayo, Florida. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's north, four hours north of here in the Suwannee River. Population is like fifteen or something. It's not it's not many people. They know I'm missing right now because it's not many people in that place. Uh, my my dad, he's still kicking. Pop's still alive. He lives down here in Gulfport, actually, right there in 58th Street. Not on the street, he's got a house, but he he lives over there and uh, he builds houses. He's a cool guy. You know, he's backs me up for running running for this uh, this Senate race. And uh, my parents got divorced when I was one, though, so I didn't I didn't have the normal upbringing. I guess that's normal now, right? How many people have your parents divorced? Clap, parents divorced. They've been together 65 years. Yep. Huh? What do you believe? In? What do I believe? In? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Buddhist, so I don't really right. go to church and all that stuff, you know. Not nah, man. I mean, like you gotta believe in something. What do I believe in? Yeah, man. Uh, what do I believe in? You, well, I believe in I believe in I believe in karma and being kind of people, right? Being nice people. Uh, I believe you just you don't need to work for money. I mean, to work to get money to be happy. I've already made money. I made a bunch of money, and I wasn't happy. I was miserable inside, so I, I said, screw it, and moved to New York City and started pursuing my dream. And this, which is why I'm broke now, because you know how it works, you don't make really much money again. Uh, what else do I believe in? I believe in, here's three things for happiness. I'll tell you this right here. Here's how to be happy, folks, okay? It's not chasing money or anything like that. It's have what you need, okay? Have what you need, do what you love, and help other people. That's it, that's the big three. Have what you need, do what you love, Help other people, and uh, money will come. And you don't need that much money, man. You, we could all live in this place and be happy as shit, right? Yeah. Right. We don't. You don't need big buildings and a big car and all that stuff and a big wife. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you don't need all that. If you get a big wife and you got to have big doors and stuff, I mean, you know, and you got to get a bigger car to hold the. It's like a kind of like. It's like when you you know these people have real big houses in Tierra Verde. A lot of them are just big. Cause it's kind of like the fishbowl thing. You get a bigger house, just get bigger. They get more stuff, and they just get bigger themselves because they got a bigger house, so they just get bigger. Forget it. Throw, it. throw all your stuff away. Minimize, simplify, cut down the bare minimum, and just follow your dreams. Be happy. and Because you're not going to find happiness in chasing coin, going to work for somebody else, making money. I did that. I was an engineer. It sucks. I threw my degree in the dumpster five years ago. You guys go look in the landfill in Clearwater. It's up there right now. Um, what else? What else can I talk about? Um, what's that? Now? I gotta hold it far away because I can't see it. The way to happiness: keep your heart free from hate and your mind from worry. Live simply. Expect little and give much. Scatter sunshine, forget self, and think of others, and okay. smoke some weed once in a while. I like that. That's pretty good right there. I like that. That's good. Uh, speaking of speaking of weed, you know, you want to what you guys want to do now? If you're smokers, you got weed smokers out here, correct? Any drinkers? We got any drinkers out here? People drinking? Drinkers. All right. Here, here's how you do it, folks. You want to live to be like 90 years old? Here's how you do it, okay? Because if you drink seven days a week, right, you're gonna beat your liver up and you're gonna end up dying of cirrhosis at 50. If you smoke pot seven days a week, you're gonna destroy your lungs and your memory, right? You need to take some time off. So what you do is Monday smoke weed, 
Tuesday, you drink beer. Wednesday, take pills. Thursday, you do some blow. Friday, huff gas. Saturday, drink some kratom. Take Sunday off, and you rotate the organs, folks. You don't want to die with like perfect pink lungs and a perfect spleen, and your liver's all shot from drinking. Rotate the organs, guys. So when you're like 90 years old and you eat a bowl of oatmeal, boop, all the organs die and they're on 0.1%, right? That's all it is. That's it. So just kind of ro rotate your drugs. I, I would make all drugs legal uh, when I become senator. I'm going to make all drugs legal because we need to we need to kind of weed out some of the undesirables first of all. I don't I don't mean to say you're all undesirable, but we do need to weed out some of the undesirables. So we'll let them take care of themselves. And then we can all kind of just rotate our drugs and all be happy the rest of our lives. So I'm going to make drugs, uh, all drugs legal. And it's going to be a one-day work week, by the way. Did I play all that? Uh, hey, Salem, can you get my water right there? Is my water over there? Get parts. Hand me that bag. It's in the bag. i got to tell you about the one-day work week, and then i got to take off for another campaign run. But let me get, get this right here. i got some gin and, I got some gin and juice in here. Let me just, let me, hold on a second. Y'all so, with me on this? Are we good on this? You want to hear about the one-day work week? Yeah. All right, hold on a second. Oh, damn water. Son of a bitch. Is there, is there water anywhere? Oh. I smoked some weed earlier, and I, I kind of... There it is. Right there it is. Right there it is. There it is. Hold on a second. Here. Oh, what you got in that jar, man? It's, uh, it's vodka and a tonic. <clears throat> like I said, rotate, folks. All right, anyways, a one-day work week. What it is is on, on Wednesday... It goes by zip code, so okay, depending on what zip code it is, that tells the day you're going to work. Because we all want to work on the same day, because traffic would be crazy, right? I mean, you know traffic's bad right now, right? Okay, now if we all work one day and we rotate, then the traffic is one-seventh of what it is right now. Right? One-seventh, okay? And we're all going to ride horses, but I'll get to that later. All right, so what we do is a one-day work week. You go to work on, say, Wednesday through 33707. We're Wednesday, because I hate Mondays, working on Mondays bullshit. So you go to work at you go to work at you go to work at 7 a.m. There's no bosses, there's no wasted time. Everybody's got to work, and you just pound it out, okay? Pound it out, and then about 5 p.m. you start getting tired, right? Everybody does two lines of blow, and then we pound it out again from 5 p.m. to midnight. You just kill it. 2 p.m. You're making phone calls and all the stuff you got to do, email and whatnot. And then at midnight you go home, you pop seven Xanax, you go to sleep, all right? Then you wake up Thursday about 4 p.m. You take five Viking and level out. You got five more days off, folks. How about that, right? And we don't drive cars to work now because it's a one-day work week and we got to kind of watch our money, all right? So we're all going to be living in tents, first of all, all right? We're all going to live in tents. We're all going to ride a horse to work because if you got a car, you got car insurance. You don't need horse insurance, right? You got car insurance. You got you got uh, gasoline. You got maintenance. If your car breaks down, you fix it. The horse breaks down, oh, yeah, shoot it. If your horse breaks down, you shoot it. All right, right. You're all with me on this now. You shoot it, and then what you do, you got 1,500 pounds of meat there. What do you think you do with that? You eat it, right. 1,500 pounds of meat. So there you go. You got 1,500 pounds of meat, and you're set for four more years. That's a family of four for four years. All right, and we all grow our own food in our backyard and on our rooftops. All right, so you got food covered, you got your house covered, and you got transportation covered, right? Because I'm 47 years old. When I was six years old, I didn't have to work, and I had free food. I had a place to live. I had a tricycle to ride. Now I'm 47. I got to work 50 hours for the same thing. That ain't right, right? One day work week, folks. Forky T color. Thanks, y'all.